Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Jagged Alliance 3 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about, you can start with a simple restart. For this just go over here in this icon, click on this one and go for a simple restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game. This is actually a basic step. This is not actually a workaround, you can try with a simple restart. Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So this is the first step. Moving to the next step is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file. Sometimes verify integrity of game file can fix a lot of issue. So verify integrity of game file is actually one of the great and important step you have to try out. For this just go over here right click and go to properties, install it files, click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time so you have to wait for this. So what happens here is actually if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step that is called verify integrity of game file. So you have to try with verify integrity of game file and most probably the issue regarding this has to be fixed for your end and this is what we have to do. So once this is done and reached 100 percentage, we can launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not and this is what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For many users this did work it so you can try this out as well. For most of the users when they launch the game from Steam that might causing the issue so we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have a shortcut that is all about go to the game, right click over here and go to properties, go to installed files, just click on the browse. Now go back over here in the desktop you will be able to see the folder if you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, jagged alliance 3. So now here is the application so you just have to right click and you have to launch the game from here and see whether the issue is solved. This did work it for many users for the users who are trying to play the game with uh, for the games like you know uh, GTA 5 online and even for uh, back for blood sons of the forest for them this did work it so you can try this out as well. Once you launch the game if it's still not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. So hence we are in the installation folder we can do that from here itself. For this just go over here right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility. Now from here click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If the issue is not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game from the we need to launch the game in compatibility mode and this did work it for few users so you can try this out as well that is just right click over here go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here we can see the option compatibility mode just select this one run this program in compatibility mode set this to windows 7 as the first one try with this windows 7 and windows 7 is not working you can try with windows 8 either windows 7 or windows 8 any one of the thing has to be worked so even after you tried with this and still it is not working with the running the game in the compatibility mode is not working and you have to move to the next step there is one more thing that you need to notice you have to undo this and keep run this program as an administrator undo this particular step and go for apply and go for ok and move to the next step so uh, this did work it so you can try these steps which are some of the possible params I'm going to show you over here you can try these out as well. One among them is make sure the date, time and the country is correct. For this we just need to go over here, uh, sorry we accidentally got into a uh, big picture mode so I'm sorry for this I'm going to exit this right now. So uh, just go over here in the menu and go to the power and go for exit big picture mode. So uh, once you're done with this one, we just need to go over here. Now go to the settings over here, go for settings. Now from here go to time and language, go to date and time. Make sure the time and time zone is correct. You have to turn this on, you have to turn this on as well, this has to be done. 
and if you go back to the language and region make sure that the respective country of yours if you're from india you have to select india if you're from united states you have to select united states and if you're from any other country select the respective geography of your country and set this up and once after that try launch the game and you can try this out because this did work it for many users so i found this on the reddit so i don't know how these are related but this did work it so you can try this out next one is all about we need to launch the game and you have to click on the play button but the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard click on the play button and press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work it for many users so you can click try this out as well just click on the play button but the moment you are clicking on the play button just press alt and tab from the keyboard and see whether the issue is solved or not or else move to the next step that is nothing but we can try with deleting the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to this pc over here go to documents and you will be able to find the folder on the jagged alliance when you started saving the game so just delete the folder and keep in mind you will be losing the progressions but that is fine just just delete it and once after that go back and try launch the game next one is all about we can try with the next one that is we need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with many things on our laptop or pc some users might be playing with the dual monitors some might be already connected with logitech wheels joystick etc or or any other peripheral devices so you have to remove everything from there including the mouse launch the game once the game is launched just connect back the controllers if you wanted to play this game with the controller once the game is successfully launched just connect it back and try launch the game and you can see the difference next one is all about we need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel now you just need to click over here now go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to j because this is in alphabet order so you can find the jagged alliance here so uh, if you're not able to find the jagged alliance we need to add it so i'll be showing you how to add it as well so over here as you can see the jagged alliance 3 is already added and you have to make sure the private and public should be checked and this is what you have to do so if the game is not added we can add it by default for this just click on the change settings now from here go to allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to find jagged alliance 3 now select this one and add it so i'll be getting the error because the game is already added so if the game is not here you can add it by default that's why i have shown you right now so once you do this you just need to close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but you have to try with performing a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search go over here and search for system configuration so sorry just go for system configuration now from here go to services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply all and go for ok so they're gonna ask you for restart so you can go for restart but here i'm in the middle of video so i'm gonna go for exit without restart the users who are watching this go for restart and once restart is successfully done just try launch the game and that will be working for you as well next one is all about nothing but you have to try with closing the overlay applications and this did work out for many users so just go over here in the task manager right click and go over here in the task manager now from here you can see there are many things running in the background so actually these background process there are 41 things which is running they are utilizing the ram and the performance of my pc or laptop which is causing the issue so if you find anything over here like unwanted things for example this code which comes under the category of overlay application is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue and even if you find anything over here like river tuner msi afterburner you have to remove it and once you remove unwanted things from here try launch the game and that will be working for you for you as well next one is all about you can try with uh, this one that's called you have to try with disabling uh, steam overlay for this we just need to go over here right click and go to properties now from here go to make sure this is turn it off once you turn this off try launch the game if that's not working we have to move to the next one that is giving the commands in the launch option the commands are the first one is all about dx11 you, have, you can try with dx11 if dx11 is not working we can try with dx12 
try with either dx11 or you can try with dx12 so any one of the thing has to be worked so you can try try with these and most probably the issue has to be worked and this did work it for many users so you can try this out so moving to the next step some possible workarounds is nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search go for graphics settings now just click on this one now from here you can find the game there are many games i have already added you have to add in the same way so just click on the browse go to this pc go to local c go to program file x86 and you have to keep scrolling down and go to steam go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here you have to find jagged alliance select the application and add it so you can see it's added just click on the option now change this to high performance now set this to high performance and go for save and once you save it you just need to close this and go back and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not this is what we have to do moving to the next one is all about we can try with increasing the virtual memory for this we just need to do this step that is all about we have to go over here search for view advanced system setting just click on this one now go for advanced go for settings go for advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the next one is maximum size that is 3 times the total ram so go over here in the search go for calculator we need a calculator so just click on this one so multiply 32 gb is the ram so we just need to type your ram so it 32 gb is my ram you have to type your ram multiply with a common value that is 1024 this is a constant value that brings you this multiply with 1.5 that brings you 49152 copy this and paste it move to the next step that is 32 gb into 1024 that brings you this one multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to paste it so paste these values and go for ok and once you set this one restart the pc and try launch the game and that might be working out as well moving to the next one we need to update the graphics card as well for running any kind of high-end games we need the graphics card to be up to date for this we just need to go over here i'll be providing a link in the description that the first one is to for nvidia so you can go to this page you can select every details like product type product series product operating system language etc so i'm on windows 11 i have to select this one and i have to select the respective one that is according to my configuration now i have to go for start search so what happens is i'll be getting the uh, latest outdated released versions over here so i'll be getting this and if i uh, sorry minus this one so i have to select this one and go for start search so you'll be getting the latest released versions of graphics card so we just need to download this over here as you can see 536.40 is released on june 29 2023 so you just have to download this install restart is a mandatory and if you're on the amd just do the same go to the graphics card select every details and go for submit and once you go for submit if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you have to download this one install restart and it is a mandatory one next one is nothing but we can also parallel try with installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so i'll be providing a link in the description so you have to download either x64 or x86 download and restart that is also an important step even after trying with all these things and the issue is still persisting then you just need to do is you just need to uninstalling the game and reinstall it back for this just go over here in the game go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to install it back on this not the same local disk you can try with any other local disk and these are the possible workarounds you have to try and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye